Honor Club, where honor is real. Everything is evil. On Sunday, July 12th, evil shocked the wrestling world. Within a day of betraying Naito and Los Ingobernables de Japón by joining Bullet Club, Evil defeated Naito for both the IWGP Heavyweight and Intercontinental Championships. To celebrate Evil's victory, ROH has selected five of Evil's best bouts in Ring of Honor. For more Evil, check out Honor Club, where you can see Evil compete in ROH rings during War of the Worlds 2014, 15, 17, 18, and 19, as well as War of the Worlds UK, Best in the Worlds 14 and 18, and Field of Honor 2015. Evil was proving around the world that he was not only one of the best tag team wrestlers, but that he belonged in singles title contention as well. In 2018, Evil stepped up to the plate against the newly signed undefeated ROH World Television Champion Jeff Cobb at Global Wars in Buffalo. It would be Evil's biggest test to date in single competition against an ROH star before he would ultimately capture the New Japan Cup and then the IWGP Heavyweight title. From everyone at Ring of Honor, congratulations, Evil, and we hope you enjoy the final installment of Everything is Evil. Has broken out, broken the mold, and, and he's a guy who's done so well. I think back to that huge victory over Shane Taylor. I, I think about the victories in tag team action. He really running the gauntlet, running the gamut uh, at the War of the Worlds Tour. Doing so well, earning the world title shot. We'll face the world television champion here tonight in, in the match that I've been looking forward to the most in the whole tour, Cole. And of course, this is our first head-to-head -head matchup of New Japan and Ring of Honor starts. The record, 68, 68, and one at these Global Wars Honor Rising and War of the Worlds events. We may get to 69 here tonight hey in Buffalo. I believe so. hey oh His opponent, wrestling out of Honolulu, Hawaii. Weighing 263 pounds, he is the Ring of Honor World Television Champion, Jim Cobb! Caprice, I saw you walking yeah, out man. today. You got that new shirt, the yeah, Hawaiian, that Hawaiian Juggernaut shirt. Hawaiian Juggernaut is on fleek. That's a nice shirt, man. And where's that available, Colt? ROHWrestling.com. ROHWrestling.com. Hit up the shop part, and I mean, you're getting discounts because you're here right on Honor Club. Absolutely, 15% off on Honor Club for Honor Club members. Jeff Cobb undefeated. Yeah, it's by us for us. Not only is he wow. undefeated, he is supremely dominant and undefeated. Hey, incredible, won the world television title in under two minutes in his very first match here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Caprice, you and I called what we thought was gonna be the top prospect tournament. <laughs> yeah. And every match, every match, this this uh, former Olympian, uh, a man who's in the World Tag League, a man who's just an international star, Cole, you said it, people pay money. They buy their ticket when Jeff Cobb's name is on the marquee. And what a match this is gonna be here. Finally. Finally. You can say that, but I promise you, every time I see Jeff Cobb in the ring, the other person on the other side is an underdog. Would you say that about Evil, though? I, I, I will today, yeah. I want to see how much Evil can do against Jeff Cobb, but I'm on the Cobb ship, man. Look at the size of Jeff Cobb. He's not a ship. Yeah, would he be the coin, though? Uh, he's, uh, well, he's it's like a cruise liner. He's the whole sea. Yeah. Fans are using the hashtag Global Wars to check in. He's the iceberg. He sunk the Titanic. So sink the ship. The one thing he definitely is, is an Olympic, Olympic standout. An elite athlete. Absolutely. Nice standing switch. His waist lock here sends Evil to the ground. Evil, very accomplished amateur wrestler in his own right, in his home country of Japan. Not to the level of Jeff Cobb, though, an Olympian. That's what I was getting ready to say. I mean, Jeff Cobb is so versed in so many ways, and he's so strong that he, he imposes his will on people. It's going to be an interesting match. The fans split decidedly using the hashtag Global Wars. Alex Calderon and Liz Regal both loving evil. And Amanda checking in, the, the villain Mandy Skrull, as she calls herself. <laughs> she is loving Cobbzilla, the Hawaiian juggernaut. Cobbzilla, I like that. The fans not split here. They, they love evil. 
kicks to the midsection. Well, it's not even just one evil. It's how often do you get to see evil on American soil. So this is a treat in itself. And this is almost a dream match because both of these guys have like manners, but I really like to see Jeff Cobb in this situation, see what he's going to do. Yeah. Off the ropes, Colt, you've, you've been on so many events with Jeff Cobb before he signed exclusively here. What do you think Evil has to do? What, what do you think his game plan should be? And that's No one's figured that out, Ian. Wow. No one has figured that out. And that's part of the problem or the dominance of Jeff Cobb. Kick yeah. to the midsection. Staggers, the world television champion. He marched right in here and just won the title. Yeah. He, he defeated a six foot seven, 260 pound man. Did you see, Did you see how agile that was? Look at the size of that man. He's a tank. You know, I've never seen anybody run up a $30 bill at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> but when I ate lunch with Jeff Cobb, I'll give you a hint, it wasn't mine that was $30. Yeah. Ooh. I could take one of Jeff Cobb's lunches and eat off it all day long. Like, it would be my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Right now, he's eating up Evil. Brings Evil back into the ring. The line juggernaut, and that's just this, he's got this vibe to him. He's just this carefree star, but Evil. It's not a carefree, he's confident, man. He, he's confident in everything he does because he's able to do it. But Evil finding that confidence right now. The crowd in Buffalo sold out here at the Riverworks, firmly behind the Los Ingobernables. Powerhouse Evil! Nice! Wow! Evil able to use that momentum of the size of Jeff Cobb. How often do you see that happen? And there's the, the Los Ingobernables fist. Some fans in the crowd. Evil now stalking Cobb. So odd to see Cobb ha having to, to climb back up. We haven't really seen that here at Ring of Honor. I was getting ready to say that. And now in the corner, taking his time after he just rakes the eyes across the ropes. I agree with the main morgue. He's saying he was looking great here. Certainly is, and, and you can't you can't hit somebody if you can't see him, right, Colt? Oh, wow, well, I take that back. Can't hit what you can't see. My man Muhammad Ali, you should have brought that to me, Ian Riccoboni. Oh, oh, oh. I saw Frank Dukes do it in the Kumite once. Kumite, Kumite! Does it mean no worries? No, that's, that's a Kumite. Cool okay. well, it looks like Jeff Cobb has no worries right now. He's enjoying this. I think he's enjoying the competition because it's very rare to see somebody on that same level that he's on. So he's enjoying the competition while he's here. But he can mess up and he, you can almost see him beat. And then that would make Evil a number one contender for the television title. Yeah. Oh! And, and this has got to be odd for Cobb. I mean, the fans in, in full support of Evil. Oh! Nice sent on. Hooks to like cover one. Two. Great combination. How, I mean, Colt, you're a man who's beloved all around the world when you step into the ring. What's it like when you're in there with somebody that, I know it's rare, is just a little bit more beloved than you? Yeah, it throws you off. It really does. And, you know, part of that game plan is you feel the love from the crowd. And uh, right now, that could be throwing off Jeff Cobb. Well, is, is Jeff Cobb one that really panders to the crowd, or is you're he right. just panders to himself in a way? You're right, but part of him really, you know, the ego of a wrestler, and you know it yeah, well, Caprice. Yeah, you're right. I agree with you on that. We love hearing those cheers. And, and normally, this bo standing bow and arrow, normally the arms go back a lot right. further. But these, just the back, the lats, not allowing those arms to go so far. The crowd here really getting into things at Buffalo. And Cobb has a strange build to him that makes it hard to get around to him as well. It's kind of like the build Taz had to where he's so barrel chested that it's hard to get anything on him. And he's strong and compacted as well. So he's very explosive. And being agile, that's a very dangerous combination. Well, he was able to break out somehow. Is yep. it just all muscles? Oh. Well, it's muscle, skill, determination, and heart all wrapped up into one cob. And we might see the muscles here. Yep. Up in the oh. torture rack position, sends him down. Hooks the leg, one, two. Now, I know he's got a big head, but I don't think that wasn't enough to pin him. He just rested his head on evil. But maybe perhaps changing the game plan with a standing oh. soft blocked by evil. A 
Bet bet you won't say he got big head to his face. Oh. What about the stomach of Cobb? Yeah, Cobb looking to try and recover in the corner. Evil luring Cobb back up, willing him to his feet. Boot no sent back down. Big clothesline. How often have we seen Oh, no. We've never I've seen never that to Cobb. I've never seen him handle like Cover that. Cover two. And I, I, I mean, it was hard, but it almost seemed like he did that with ease. Yeah, I, that's what, I've never seen him handled that way. Not here in Ring of Honor have we seen Jeff Cobb just just tossed, just taken off his feet. The toughest match I've seen him with in Ring of Honor is Shane Taylor. And you can see that this week on Ring of Honor television. Jeff Cobb has Evil up on the top rope. Jay Taylor doing well over in England right now, representing Ring of Honor. Man, both of these men know very well. Evil breaks, breaks free, but Cobb delivers a drop kick. That was unbelievable. See, the idea that a man that size can get that height. I was getting ready to say, that's a move you would see a cruiserweight do, and it would be very impressive from one of them. And he, well, you, want to, you want to see impressive? Yeah. Watch this, Caprice. Yeah, if he does what I think he's going to do. Look at that. Just stalling. And how much does this Evil weigh? There's the pandering to the crowd. Yeah. Big oh. time superplex. Oh May have taken as much out of Cobb as it did for Evil. As we take a look at the raucous Buffalo crowd, too. No. And you're right, that I wouldn't say lackadaisical pin, but not his strongest. Yeah, he's hurt, man. Both of these guys are hurt. They're both giving it them all. Cobb sizing up evil. The crowd rallying behind this battle between two behemoths. As Cobb lifts up evil up on his shoulder. So rare do you see this done to evil? Just that Oklahoma stampede almost. Yeah, yeah the homage to Dr. Death. There you go. Oh, thrust oh. kick. Up on the shoulders. You know what amazes me is both of the evil. Got him on two. No! That was very close. What amazes me is both of these guys are big size. And these two men with the two count, you're right, Caprice. And they're handling each other with ease. Evil now pointing to the top rope. Has something dangerous in mind here. Ooh. Slitting the throat, spins him around. Everything is evil, blocked and countered. Back elbow, staggers Cobb. Wow, connects with the right. Ducks the clothesline, it's Cobb. Wind him up. And oh. knocks him down. But not enough or anything left in the tank. But imagine how how much that took out of the tank to be able to apply that. The torso strength that it took. The crowd starting to rally behind Cobb here in Buffalo. Evil though, evil, I, I, you know, it's so rare you say that somebody might have a conditioning advantage against a, an Olympic athlete. Okay. Evil so finely conditioned coming up to that New Japan Dojo system. Oh, look at this Braveheart meeting in the middle. Oh, wow. Oh, Evil down to his knees. Cobb off the ropes. Evil follows him in. Misdirection. Ducks the clothesline. Evil. Wow. Clothesline by Cobb. Steady runs up. Cover. One, two. No. Two and nine tenths. And Buffalo for Cobb, and Cobb slitting the throat this time of evil. Aloha may not mean goodbye at this point. Setting up for the tour of the islands instead. Paul Turner involved. Oh no, what? What? Magic wow. killer assisted. Hooks the leg. That One, could do it. Two. Oh, oh two wow. and nine tenths. Paul Turner had no choice but to count it. 
as smart wrestling on Evil's part, and Jeff Cobb barely slips his shoulder up out the back door. Absolutely, that's the closest count of the match. Evil trying to rally the fans behind him. Uh oh, calling for it. Usually when he does this, he looks for his variation of the STO. He looks for everything is he. Oh no, doesn't get it. Cobb gets out of it. Let's take a tour. Oh, 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 oh. Means he no. blocked it. He blocked it. Everything is evil blocked. Aloha means goodbye. Yes, sure does. Tour of the islands. Two, three. The winner of the match, the Ring of Honor World Television Champion, Jeff Cobb. Jeff Cobb remaining undefeated in Ring of Honor competition. The world television champion defeating a very game, very capable evil. Come on a roll. What's it gonna take to stop him, Caprice? After a win like that, I think he's gonna be champion for a long time. <laughs> and the only person that'll be able to test that is Adam Page coming up in final battle. Well, Adam Page, we know his sights have been set on Jeff Cobb. Well, they don't call him the Hawaiian juggernaut for nothing. No. It's Jeff Cobb, the Ring of Honor World Television Champion. What a win, the wins piling up for the big man from the islands.